Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and in today's video we're going to take a look at some RGB headphones from EZMX. This is the VIP 002S. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we'll be taking a look at the EZSMS VIP002S. These are a set of RGB headphones from EZSMX. They've been sent to me free of charge for review. Now, even if you do want to buy them for yourself, these are extremely cheap. Effectively, a budget entry. These are around about £20 here in the UK. I will put some affiliated links in the video description from Amazon, so you can check them out for yourself and the prices in your local region. But I think for £20 or thereabouts here in the UK, you can't do much better. These are a fantastic buy. So let's take a look at the packaging, we'll take a look at the headphones, and I'll do some sound tests, and then you can make up your own minds whether you think they're worth your hard-earned money. So first of all, with the packaging, a uh, pretty simple affair as it is normally with Easy SMX. So plain box, you've got the part number on the bottom there, you've got some QR tags on the side and some information, and that is pretty much it. So let's take a look and see what we get actually inside it. Okay, so what do we get in the packaging? Well, we get the headphones themselves, as you can see. So we'll take a closer look at those in a little second. But first of all, let's take a look at what else we get. So we get a instruction guide, tells you about all the connections, etc., etc. Again, you can have a look through that if you wanted to. But essentially, these are super simple. All you have is a USB connection, which is for powering the RGB lights and also the light on the microphone. But the main connectivity are these two 3.5mm jacks, which are colour coded. So, a green one for your earphone section and the red one for the microphone. Pretty simple. But you're probably thinking, well, what if I don't have a headphone and microphone jack? Well, that's taken care of in the packaging because you've got this adapter. So, all you need to do is to plug in each of these into the adapter. And then you get the single TRRS type connection. So, you can plug this into things like your Nintendo Switch, Xbox. Whatever the case may be. For me personally, it'll be for the laptop. My Acer Aspire laptop has a single jack, so I can plug that in quite easily. But again, if I want to use this on my PC, which has both jacks, all I need to do, disconnect that, and I can plug those in. Now, the USB connection does not work for any audio devices at all. It is purely for powering the RGB, so please don't get confused and try and plug in the USB, because you won't get any sound. You'll get pretty lights, and that is about it. So taking a closer look, the cable itself is a nicely braided cable and is approximately two meters in length, so plenty of room to get to your device, uh, whether it's a, a desktop PC, which is maybe in a desk down below or something, or whatever the case may be, you've got a pretty decent amount of cable in there. Looking at the headphones themselves, they're finished in this rather nice satin matte black finish, which uh, does pick up a few greasy fingerprints, but you can easily wipe that clean. The actual ear cups themselves are finished very nicely, and I've got this kind of fake leather they call it TPE, I'm not sure what that stands for, but it does feel very soft and is quite well padded. The ear cups actually do have a little bit of movement to them, but not a great deal, but they will adjust to fit pretty much any size of head. Also the headband itself, at the top you've got the same kind of TPE, like fake leather, foam effect on the top. And on the top of the headband you've got the Easy SMX logo. Also they're fully adjustable, so you've got some adjustment both sides. So if you've got a slightly larger noggin, you can adjust them to the size that they need to be. Now I find even on the smallest setting, they actually fit very nicely and very comfortably. And actually they do a really good job of noise cancellation. They do fit very firmly on your ears. I wouldn't say they squeeze you, but because the padding is quite soft and flexible, it does block out external noises, which is excellent. Also, you do have a built-in microphone, which is actually on this boom, so that just folds down. So nice and easy to retract, should you not want to use it. Or if you do want to use it, you can have it in the downward position. I did actually find that it is actually an omnidirectional microphone. So even with it in the upward position, it still will pick up audio. So if you do want to have a conversation, or maybe you're doing some multiplayer gaming, you can have it in this position, and it doesn't get in your way or anything. And it still works pretty much exactly as it does with it in the down position. If you don't want to use it at all, and you want to mute it, there is a handy little mute button on the side here. This left hand side is all of your controls. So you've got the mute button, which you can toggle on or off. And when it's plugged into the USB, the light on the end does turn on and off. Although for me personally, I think that's a little bit of a wasted opportunity because you can't actually see the light when you're actually wearing the headphones. You can only see it maybe in a reflection if you're doing some kind of OBS recordings, that kind of thing. Volume control is really nice and easy. On the side, you've got this twist dial, which controls your volume from high to low. And it's got a really nice clicky effect to it. On the other side, we've got the lighting. So all you do is twist that round and you can choose an individual color of lighting, uh, any one of 16.4 million colors, or you can leave it at the very end position 
and it will go into the kind of flow situation where it just goes through all the different colors and then starts again and goes through looping. Okay, so with the USB cable connected, now we get our illumination, which is on the microphone and also on the RGB elements, which is on the left and the right hand side. And if you press the mute button, as I said before, it turns off the LED on the microphone so you know it's off. Although, like I said, you can't actually see it when you're wearing them. So yeah, that's a, a limited use to most people. But essentially, it's functional and does what it needs to do. Now the mute button itself will not work if the USB isn't connected. So if you want to use the headphones in the normal mode, just like that, and you want to be a little bit discreet, the mute button will not be able to be used. It is powered by the USB setup. So we'll plug that straight back in. So let's take a look at how to control the addressable lighting or the RGB lighting. So all you need to do on the right hand side is to twist the dial. And if we start off right at the back, so that is on the red setting. And you can go through in very small increments to change the color to your liking. So if you've got maybe a green setup, you can set it to green, uh, blue, purple, pink, you get the general idea. If you go all the way around to the very end, this then puts it into flow mode. So now it's gonna cycle through the colors as you'd expect from an RGB headset. So that's all well and good. We've got plenty of control over our microphone and also our lighting, but do they actually sound any good? Well, I've been listening to some movies and other gameplay and yep, very, very good. You've got a 40 mil driver in each side and you've got a frequency response between 20 Hertz and 20 kilohertz. So that pretty much covers most of your bases. In Xbox games, you do get a directional positional audio, which you would expect. And even in things like CSGO on a PC, it does work so you can kind of tell where footsteps are coming from. Even though these are stereo, not 7.1 surround, you still do get that very immersive feeling. When it comes to music, all the basses are covered there as well. You've got a really nice warm bass. The mid range is absolutely brilliant. So you get to hear all the things in that mid ground and the very high end, the tweeters, you can hear everything really, really clearly, very sharp, and it's not overly hissy, it just sounds very kind of natural and quite warm sounding. When it comes to the microphone, it's probably best if I let you make up your own minds what you think of it. So let's listen to an example of what the microphone sounds like. So this is a sound test of the Easy SMX, the VIP0025. The audio quality should be very, very good. Unfortunately, the picture quality is probably awful. This is just from my webcam on my laptop. So uh, basically going straight in on the 3.5 mil jack into the converter to make it into a single jack and then going straight into the single port on the laptop. So this is uh, pretty much as it sounds straight into OBS. I've not put any uh, increase on the sound in OBS. I may well do that in post-production. If I do, then I'll make sure I put it in the uh, little bit down the bottom there so you can see what's actually going on. But this is a sound test. So if I'd be completely quiet now, you can see if there's any background noise associated with the microphone. Not too sure. I'll have to wait till I uh, listen to this back. There is a PC just behind me there, as you can see, just there. So the fan noise from that is uh, pretty loud. So be interesting to see if that actually comes through on the audio recording. With the microphone, you can, if you want to, you can actually mute it. So there is a button on the side here, somewhere there. So I can press it and it'll mute it. If I do that now. I was going to carry on talking there, but you can't hear it. So yeah, if you press the button, the light goes off. It's unfortunate you can't actually see the light yourself uh, when you're actually using it because you can't tell if it's actually on or off, but you can actually put the mic out of the way as well. So I hope that's not picked up too much noise and it doesn't seem to activate or deactivate it. So I think it'd be interesting to see what happens when I listen to this back, if it does actually deactivate it or not. Anyway, let's get back to the main video. So that's what the microphone sounds like. And I actually think after listening back to it myself, I think it sounds pretty decent. There is a limited amount of noise cancelling there and things like the background noise from the fans, etc., around me and uh, probably some other things like the cats, etc. It's been drained out pretty well. So basically you're just going to hear your voice, which is essentially what it's meant to do. So overall, what do I think of them? Well, for £20, you can't go wrong. Really nice crisp sound, nice bass, great for listening to movies, music, playing games, built in microphone if you want to use it. The RGB lighting is an added extra and the compatibility with multi devices is just the icing on the cake. So let me know what you think of these in the comments section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.